Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me on a Thursday night. Kung nasaan po kayo, kahit sa ang parte ng mundo, Pilipino, mabuhay kayo. Maraming salamat. Ang oras natin alas 7.28 ng gabi, oras ng Pilipinas. At syempre, tayong lahat dito. Ha! Ang Team TV. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow! Ang oras natin alas 7.28 ng gabi, oras ng Pilipinas. At syempre, tayong lahat dito. Ha! Ang Team TV. component to our third segment dito sa ating OBS tutorials and now we're going to discuss about adding special effects to your streams using green screen. Tara! Okay, first question that you might have, bakit laging green screen ang ginagamit? Ano po? You might have seen this before dun sa mga news programs or kung saan saan or sa paggawa ng pelikula, di ba? Laging green yung background nila, bakit? Kasi po, the explanation is fairly simple. The color green is not prominent sa tao. Ano po? Hindi po nakikita ang green na kulay sa tao. Ang red, orange, yellow, and blue. Yeah, you can play around with those colors, hue and saturation, ganyan. Makikita niyo po yan, pero pag nakakita kayo ng taong green. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so let's go. First thing, kailangan niyo po ng assets, ano? And where better place to take it from than YouTube. So, hindi lang naman po YouTube yung merong mga green screen effects. Meron din po kayong makukuha ng or madadownload na ng ibang websites or meron nag-host ng iba ng ganyan na for free. In this particular case, since lahat naman tayo is engaged kay YouTube, so let's go kay YouTube. Open up a browser. Search for green screen, which I already did. So, pag meron po kayong nakitang ganito, just check the description. Ano po? Kung meron siyang free to download or kung wala, Make sure na yung asset na kukunin niyo is good for public use. If that's the case, then you can just do a screen recording. In this particular tutorial, syempre po, nakakuha na ako ng recording. Ano? Nakapag-record na ako, and hindi ko na sa inyo papakita kung po paano, kasi iba-ibang platform, iba-ibang operating system, iba-ibang applications mer meron kayo. Alright, so once again, Gaya ng mga dati, let's open up a new canvas by clicking the plus icon on the scene section of your OBS. There you go. Alright. Okay, start. It'll start off with a black canvas again. If you've seen the previous tutorials, you will notice na lagi po natin itong inubulit. Okay. We will then again put a camera para naman nakikita nyo yung kausap nyo. Let's click the plus icon ano po, on your sources section. Plus and then video capture device. In this case, set up na po yung camera ko previously. So what we will be using is just the existing camera. Okay. Medyo liliitan ko lang po ito ng kondo. Yeah. Alright, now let's try to add the asset that we captured from YouTube. Remember, kanina, ang sinabi ko is, meron tayong multiple ways of getting green screen assets. One is that you can search for websites, ano, or yung hosting websites na nag naninigay. They, they're giving their assets free, and it's okay to use. Now, the second option would be doing a screen capture from YouTube, but then again, of course, Make sure na yung assets na kinakapture nyo is free for downloads and hindi kayo mababalikan ng may ari. Alright? Just a precautionary um, disclaimer. Okay, so let's click the plus icon on your sources section. Ano pa? And click media source. Um, we'll, have it we'll have it named uh, green screen effects. Hindi ko ba alam ba't parang laging weird yung mga pangalan na nilalagay ko. So, okay, click OK. Let's go look for that particular asset. And ito yon yung kaninang mga in screen grab ko. Okay. Now, looking at these checkboxes, 
i-retain niyo lang po yung mga yan. Okay? Just retain the settings, whatever they are. Or, kung meron kayong mga videos na gusto niyo mag-play on the looping sequence, just click this one. Para saan ginagamit yun? Ito po yung mga graphics na minsan may makikita kayo sa stream, ano? Na meron nagsasayaw-sayaw ditong kung ano man, alien or baby o kung ano man. Basta, continuously playing siya. Pwede niyo pong gamitin yan, but on this particular <coughs> segment, we won't. Alright? Click OK. There we go. This is the asset that we captured a while ago. Ideally, let's resize it. Ideally, if you're going to get an asset, get the highest resolution available. And about get the highest resolution available. Bakit? Kasi po for clarity. Mas maganda, mas malinaw, mas crisp yung detalye ng mga videos na ilalagay niyo or pictures or kahit anong assets na ilalagay niyo. Okay? So we've added the video already. Now the next thing to do here is to remove the green screen. Ano po? By the way, ganito siya pag nakalupo na. Papakita lang natin para kung may idea kayo. Click the loop button and hindi po yan matatapos. So we will now proceed in removing the green screen. Paano po natin gagawin yan? And this is the most important part. Ano po? Also, the main reason kung bakit sinasabi ko sa inyo na sana highest quality possible ang pwede niyo ang, ang gagamitin yung asset. Go to green screen effects. Right click. Click filters. Let's apply filters. As you can see, this is your asset and this is how it will look like on the actual event. On the effects filters, ito po sa baba. Click the plus icon. Alright. And, and go to Chroma key. Okay, chroma key. Click OK. As simple as that. And ito po yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Hindi kailangan green lager. It's just that green yung nakagawian dahil green ang pinaka unpronounced na kulay na makikita mo sa tao. For example, kung blue yung background mo, just choose blue. And so on and so forth. But on this particular tutorial, syempre green yung background natin, kaya ang i-eliminate natin or ang tatanggalin natin is green. Okay. As you can see, sa edges niya, meron pa rin siyang natitirang mga green na kulay, di ba? So medyo lilinisin lang po natin yan. Dito sa color spill reduction, iangat nyo lang po ng konti. Nakikita nyo po, as we go higher, mas nawawala yung green. Napansin nyo, wala na yung green sa gilid. After satisfied na kayo dun sa kinalabasan ng settings nyo, then just click close. This is going to be more pronounced kung overlaid siya. Okay, so meron na kayong nakikita ngayong mga sumasabog-sabog dyan. Paano mangyayari yung kagaya ng ginagawa ko na each and every time Gusto ko siyang i-trigger, magti-trigger siya. Let's pause this for a while. Ano pa tanggalin natin siya sa pagkakalbi? Double click, remove the loop checkbox or un uncheck the loop checkbox. Okay. Kuwis na sana. Ayun, ganyan pa rin naman siya, 'di ba? Okay lang 'yan. Hintayin niyo siyang matapos. Ano po? Hintayin nating matapos yung loop and then what we're going to do is apply shortcut keys. Ano po? Let's go settings. So, ang gusto natin mangyari ngayon is we will create triggers no? para dun sa asset na nilagay natin. Pag may kinlik tayo sa keyboard natin, dun pa lang mag appear yung asset na yun. Okay, that's what we want to happen kasi ayaw naman natin na paulit-ulit lumilitaw yung kung ano man gusto nyong palitawin. Unless yun ang gusto nyo, ilagay nyo na lang sa loop. Ano po? But for this particular example, we will create hotkeys. So once again, settings. Ano po? Let's go to settings, click hotkeys. This is very essential and magiging very useful din po siya sa magiging streams nyo kasi at least alam nyo manually kung kailan nyo iti-trigger yung mga effects na gusto nyo lumabas. Okay? Tandaan po natin yung scenes na active, which is on this case, scene 3. Hanapin natin yan. Scene 2, scene 3. Okay. 
So we are now on scene 3. And next, yung asset na gusto niyang i-trigger which can be found in the sources section niyo on this particular tutorial where we'll be triggering green screen effects. Ano pa? Green screen effects. Ayan. As you can see, meron ditong trigger to show and to hide. Ano po? Click the text box. Designate whatever key you like. Pero tatandaan niyo po yan ha. Kasi pag sobrang dami yun ng effects or keys na nilagay dyan, pag nagkamali kayo, syempre iba yung lalabas po sa. So in this case, let's put letter L to show. Let's put L then to hide. I normally do that para naman po alam ko na isang click ko ng L, lalabas siya, isang click ko, mawawala ulit siya, no? Pag inibay niyo yan, pwede rin naman. Kung gusto niyo K to show, L to hide. It's up to you, pero mas nakakalito yon on the long run. Bakit L? Yun po kasi yung pinakamadali kong napindot. <laughs> click OK. Ba't walang nangyari? Kasi po, natapos na yung loop niya. Once again, Kaya tayo nag-assign ng hotkeys is for you to activate or deactivate yung asset na yun. Now, tanda, na, rem, na natatandaan nyo po kanina, L, yung dinasignate natin. So, let's press L. Kita nyo po, nag-hide. Let's press L once again. There you go. ba? Isang tip lang po. No? While doing this, Make sure na you have the exact timing. Ano po? You have the exact timing kung kailan siya lalabas. Kasi para maiwasan natin yung delay. Mamaya pag-click nyo ng letter L or kung ano nang trigger yun, eh maghahantay pa tayo ng 2 seconds. Nawala na yung momentum mo, di ba? So, this is the easiest way on how you can apply visual effects on your live stream. Ano po? With full control. At least kayo yung nagmamanipulate ng controls nyo. Press whatever key you like, may lalabas na asset. Ganun lang po kasimple yan. Let's go back to my original stream setup. Alright. So once again, siguro naman po familiar na kayo dito, no? And dito yung ating uh, chat box, which I discussed from the previous session. Ito naman is another chat box, pero super chatters yung lalabas dyan. Ito yung ating ticker, which I discussed in the first segment. And this is what we did today. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a very short segment natin on how you can incorporate visual effects in the live streams nyo and how you to trigger them. Kung hindi pa po kayo na subscribe, please click the subs subscribe button. Basa anjan lang. Lagi pa na kakama ni subscribe button. Please click the subscribe button para naman po updated kayo pag meron tayo bagong videos and tutorials na yung upload kagaya ng ganito. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope meron po tayong bagong na-share sa inyo at meron din kayong natutunan. Ano, maraming salamat po. Paalam.